It's only been a year and a half. Well, hey, guys, they're here. And today, got a hobby box. 4122 OPG Platinum Hockey. Featuring a new 12 cards per pack. 12 packs per box. 144 total cards. Then you give a box of 212 Platinum. You should be expecting one autograph. 11 base parallels. Could be Rainbow Sunset and or Matte Pink. Five numbered base parallels. Six retro, so every other pack. One retro rainbow. And 12 inserts. But before we get into Platinum, this video is sponsored by GP Sports Cards. Looking for a unique approach to hockey box break? Check out GPSportsCards.com. With Platinum finally being out, GP has a ton of breaks available. 16 box case, 8 box case, options to be had? Yes, there are inners for Platinum. Options available include Hit Select, Team Select, Team Random, with multiple waves. So be sure to check out GPSportsCards.com. Be sure to check out the release day live stream. GP will be streaming all day, opening a ton of Platinum. So go jump in a break if you can. And thank you, GP, for sponsoring today's video. So Platinum, I would say this is probably my most anticipated product in quite a while. Because what, 2021 came out in fall of 2021? It's been a really long time since we've had any new Platinum. Still the 21-22 year, but a lot of big changes for the 21-22 set. Including that new configuration. Upper Deck's going more Prism with the Chromium set with the 12 cards per pack and 12 packs per box. The old configuration was 4 cards per pack, 20 packs per box, more like Topps Chrome. On top of getting more cards, the base set is larger. Instead of 150 veterans, there is 200 veterans now. Instead of 50 rookies, there are 100 rookies. So a 300 card base set. Instead of 200. And honestly, I'm actually fine with that. I felt over the years Platinum has missed key rookies because of the fairly limited 50 rookie set. So there's 100 rookies available here with 200 veterans. So yes, it will be harder to hit a specific player and it is a way to produce more boxes, but there is that. I should point out before we continue on this box, cost $250 Canadian. 2021 came out 150 and every year before that it was a $100 box. So it's up substantially. I don't know how much it's marked up by dealers, but this box costs two and a half times what it used to be. If we look at the averages, once again, we're still only getting one autograph. So that is of concern, paying more but we're still just getting the one autograph. We are getting five numbered cards and I'll throw up the numbered parallels here for the veterans and the rookies. The dumb one that produced more boxes this year is the Hot Magma instead of Aquamarine. The $4.99. No yellow tracks, which is nice. And if you look at the top there, there's retail exclusive parallel. In fact, retail's already out. I mean, I got the mass blasters here, so stay tuned for that video. 2021 retail was easily the best retail product for the 2021 crop. So I'm excited to see what 2122 has in store. But apart from that, there's not a whole lot of changes in terms of the numbered parallels for the base. Violet Pixels are the $2.99. They keep on changing. I think they were the 3.9, but regardless, let's talk about the autograph. First off, there's sticker autos for this year. I'm pretty sure there's sticker autos. The blue rainbow autograph. They're one in 60 packs. There's 61 of them. Pretty sure they only did that one year in the past, 15, 16, to produce more boxes for McDavid, but they're back this year. So you could get one of these sticker autos instead of an actual rookie auto, which might not be the end of the world. Yeah, that kind of sucks. They're essentially one in five boxes, so not too huge on the blue rainbow autos. And quickly, before we get on the rookie autos, there's miscellaneous inserts in here. There's the platinum die cuts. There's auto version of that. There's photo driven sweet selections are back. Just some basic inserts in there. There are golden treasures to the photo driven, the platinum die cuts. That is quite intriguing there, but let's get on to the rookie autograph. Here's a list of the autograph parallel. Your typical rookie auto are one in 30 packs. Rainbows are one in 120. And the new blue tracks are one in 144 packs. Not numbered. Blue tracks have been around in the past, but that's a trend with the autograph. There is a lot of non numbered autographs that used to be numbered. Well, Viat Pixels has a parallel there. They're one in 288 packs. They haven't been numbered to make sense, but Matt Pink's not numbered anymore. One in 432 packs. They always used to be numbered to 99, so it's kind of weird that they were no longer numbered. Obviously, that's just a way to produce more boxes. I'm not sure why they couldn't just make the players sign more of the non-numbered cards, like the base autos and rainbow autos. But they made the map pick and the Cosmics not numbered. The Cosmics are 1 in 576 packs. I don't agree with that. They should be the 75 like they have been last year, so kind of weird decision there. Regardless, let's check out 2122 Platinum. Once again, $250 box. Very large box compared to years past. So let's get right into it. Alright, Platinum. I think no matter what, I'm probably gonna open a lot of this. Just got the one box here for now. As there's a crap ton of cards in here but expect a bunch of videos on this stuff that's a freaking pack right there so yeah let's get right into it autographs are one per box you know the boxes are more than double now looks like we got a parallel in there so here we go 21 22 platinum finally it's been so long there's generally mcavoy the base hopefully we don't have centering issues we might we'll see left to right doesn't seem perfect there but it's always been the case with platinum but regardless there you go there's a base for platinum there has all his years is that the same for all the players let's see if fabry is maybe maybe not well that's five years that's four years so i guess we'll have to find a guy that's played before 15 16, which is not here. McDavid broke in in 15, 16, but there you go. There's McDavid card number one. Oh, we got a retro rookie. Here's a retros. I like the retros from 21, 22, but obviously this mirrors OPG, but there you go. There's a retro. Philip Gustafson. There's going to be Easter eggs in here as well. Probably some premier inserts similar to years past. There's Joe Valena, Marquee Rookie. So a bunch of Marquee Rookies. Todd Colvin. There's a hundred in checklist. So Matias Samuelson. So three rookies back to back to back there. And Gustafson make that four. Here's our Matt Pink. At least one of our Matt Pinks there. Matt Zuccarello. Centering's off there. Questionable there. So there's that. Oh, we got Sweet Selections. Cole Caulfield. So here's one of the inserts. Sweet 
Sweet Selections, Caulfield, Matt Grizzlick, Jack Hughes, and David Posternak. I don't know if I'm huge on the writing there. It doesn't look that great. So there's that. Next pack up here. So we should be getting, what, 11 parallels? Pajo, Stamkos, Neil Pionk, the Carey Price Retro, the Farabee Sunset. These used to be two per box, but there's a Sunset of Farabee. There's a Maxim Sushko, Marky Rookie, Roderick Allard, Marky Rookie, Phil Gustafson, Marky Rookie. Bottom die cuts. So here's the die cuts. I mean, Platinum's had die cuts in past, like the Puck Personas. 1415 had the really cool Stanley Cup die cut cards. And they occasionally have die cuts in Platinum, but there's the die cuts of Kopitar. So there's that. There's Forsberg, Bob, and Barzell. Staring this far, even though the packs are way larger, still feels fairly basic there. Smith, Dry Settle, Palat. Then again, I've been asking for this. I always felt Platinum has lacked as a product. Like, obviously, the cards themselves I really like. The top end, I absolutely love. This feels from box to box, the product really lacks. So I'm hoping this year it gets the oof it deserves. But there's a rainbow of Miko Ranton, just a regular rainbow there. Looks like we got a cheese numbered card here. Holtz, Marky Rookie, Pinto, Marky Rookie, Hardman, Marky Rookie, and a Magma, Hot Magma. Oh my gosh, Joe Pavelski. 236 to 499. These are pretty aggressive. The same as the Aquamarine. So there you go. There's the first numbered card, Magma card K. Bennington, photo driven. So here's photo driven. Used in the past. So there's Bennington, Marcia So, Craig Smith, and Bergeron. Okay, we got the one numbered card. So five numbered cards in here. So that's a lot. Keller, Price, Zucker, Point Rainbow. We got something. Oh, we got an autograph there. Dang it. Well, it's a rainbow auto at least. Lukanen, Oli Alsling, Yan Yannick. So I guess we get at least three base rookies in every pack. There's a Byfield photo driven. There's something stuck. Ryan O'Reilly to Foley. Cop. So here's our rookie auto. It's a Devil 21-22. So Holtz, I guess. Or Tice Thompson. There you go. Tice Thompson. Platinum rookie auto. I like the look of that for sure. Definitely not perfect in the centering department. It seems like all these cards aren't perfect in the centering department left to right there. But there's a platinum rainbow rookie auto. Not the best of names, but Tice Thompson. There's our rookie auto. Okay, we still need four numbered cards. It's a substantial box compared to years past. Like if this were any year prior, we just need like one or two more numbered cards. Kupari rookie. There's Sample Ranta marquee rookie. You know, it's Ron Bjerg marquee rookie. It's a Horner marquee rookie. Highfield selections. Rainbow there of Svechikov. Good looking card there. Monahan. And Thornton, Viala. Crap, ton of cards in here. Looks like we have a die cut. And something interesting there. Is that Orange Checkers? Barry? On Japani. There's Holt. What is this pack? Uh, well, first off, we got Sunset Darlene. So obviously, we have something interesting there. Rasmus Darlene, Sunset. Keaton Middleton. Rasmus Kupari. So here's our three rookies again. Dawson Mercer. Uh, Trevor Zegris. Die cuts. That's definitely an Orange Checkers. Schmaltz. So these are hobby exclusive. Number 25. Dubé. Shen. Could be good here. It's not fully covered by that die cuts of Zegris, but... Is it a rookie? It's not a rookie. It is. Uh, okay. Matthew Kachuk. Orange Checkers. That is nice there. 13 of 25. There you go. Kachuk. Really good name. Orange Checkers is a very good parallel. So I'll gladly take that. Matthew Kachuk. Orange Checkers. Those were tough. These are still very tough. Like seismic gold or lower are still extremely tough cards to pull. Also, while I'm at it, I completely forgot. Look at the autographs once again. Red Prism rookie autos is 60 instead of 50 every year. They've been the 50 except for 15, 16, which were the 75. So minor change there. I added 10 more to the Red Prism. I just remembered that now, so there's that. But let's continue on here. That's a good poll there, Kachuk. Looks like we got a violent pixels here. We got Verhage, Kalen Addison, Marquee Rookies, Lassie Thompson, Maxwell Willman, Jacob Peterson. And Kevin Fiala, Violet Pixels. So these are $2.99. Yeah, $147, I always look down here, but they're up there by the team logo. Fiala, $147, 299 There's a Besser Photo Driven. Kane, Carlson. These cards are already stick of Zadina. Has this product been sitting for a while? I wonder what held this product up. Why did it take so long for it to come out? I was hoping it would come out last summer. And it was announced in like 2021, but we're getting it in summer of 2023. There's a Romanoff, Kreider, J. Theodore, Connor McDavid Retro. Oh, we got another Sunset. It's Mason McTavish. So there goes Sunset McTavish. There's Lashinsky Rookie, Radish Rookie, Tomasino Rookie. Knock die cut and some more base there. Okay, four more packs. We still need some number cards, I'm pretty sure, including whatever the heck that is. But there's a Cindy Crosby base, Norris, Stall, Rainbow. Hey, Cider Rainbow Rookie. I'll take that. That's nice. Mort Cider, Marquee Rookie Rainbow, Weatherby, Lundell, Kirstead, and looks like we got an Arctic Freeze here, right? Yeah, Grandland, Arctic Freeze. So that is 78 99. Arctic Freeze. So two decently numbered parallels there. Kill Grandland, Cam York Sweet Selections, Meyer, Ehlers, Taze. This product definitely feels more substantial now. Now, granted, it costs considerably more, but this might be for the better. We'll see. Casey Middlestat, Tomas Hurdle, Strom, Roz Colton, retro rookie there, Perunovic rookie, Burroughs rookie, Baron rookie. I mean, the base rookies aren't going to be worth a whole lot. So many of them, but there's that. Spencer Knight, photo driven, Tommy Novak, Marquee rookie, Matt Pink, and some more base there, including Upside Down Raquel. All right, two more packs. We should need at least another numbered card, I think, but there's Stutzla, Besser, McKinnon, the Jari Rainbow, Jeff Reveal, Marquee rookie, Jeannot, Jarvis, and uh, one of these, Pod Colson, Hot 
Hot Magma to 499 there. These are not great. 279 to 499. There you go. Hot Magma, Vasily Pod Colson, New Hook Photo Driven, and some more base. And a file pack, 2122 Platinum. Definitely gonna be opening a lot more of this, so stay tuned. Case break coming up? I don't know. Ooh, do we have a retro numbered card like the Hound's Tooth or whatever that they're called? Matthews, Ushnevich, Roslovic, Kalik Rainbow. So what? Let's just put that there and just go through these quickly here. Colin. Oh, Lafreniere, Photo Driven. More base, okay? Okay, looks like we got a retro numbered card here. It's Canucks. Ooh, Elias. Okay, well, there you go, Elias. What's this parallel called here? Purple Houndstooth. Dang, 8 of 15. Well, that's a good pull there. I mean, I've been building up James's package for like a year now, it seems. I haven't pulled anything substantial, but there you go. Purple Houndstooth, 8 of 15. Elias. That's really nice there. So there's that. Yeah, guys, Hobby Box, 2122 Platinum. I mean, the product definitely feels more substantial than years past. Get a crap ton of marquee rookies. Get some inserts. Get some retro. Get a considerable amount of non-numbered stuff that are parallel, like the rainbows, the matte pinks, sunsets. So, yeah, I mean, definitely feels quite substantial there. We got six numbered cards in there, which is quite nice. Then again, two of them were the hot magma filler ones there. Pavelski Pod Colson. Purple Houndstooth, that's retro there. That's really nice. That's the 15 of Pedersen. Granlin, Arctic Freeze, the 99. The Fial, the 299 Violet Pixel. The Orange Checkers, a Matthew Kachuk. On top of that, we did get the one rookie auto of Tice Thompson. So, all in all, quite enjoyed that. But yeah, guys, uh, stay tuned for more breaks to come. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.